Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today is the day where I'm going to do my always beloved planner related video. Um, as you can see, I have lots of planners here because I have gone through quite the process this year. Um, the theme for apparently all of my videos is that 2018 has been kind of weird and that has also reflected in my planner options and the things that I've done this year. So this is the one I'm currently using but I'll come back to that. This is the one I'm going to start off with. So if you watched my planner video from last Vlogmas, uh, you will know that I was using the Passion Planner. I really like the Passion Planner for the most part. I think it's like really good high quality paper, all of these different things. Um, if you are someone who likes to schedule out their weeks in a very like organized way, this is like fantastic. As you can see, I very much like doing that. On my best days, I was like color coding and I had like to-do lists and I had everything kind of going here. And again, this works really well if you have like very strict schedules, or not strict, but like very specific schedules. Like if you're in school or you have um, a job that has a lot of meetings, this would be fantastic. The things I didn't like, I didn't like writing the to-do list down here. As you can see, I tried to like make shift it so that way it felt more like like the way that I like to write to-do lists but it still just wasn't really working for me so this is all like last year as you can tell from the date and then like going into January it basically got like really really sparse um, I would start off the week with good intentions of like scheduling my days and putting in the things I needed to do and putting in ahead of time the things that I had going on and then like as the week would go on nothing would happen. <laughs> yeah it just it just wasn't really working for me um, and I realized that pretty early on in the year so you can see like it just just wasn't happening and so by like January I was done. What I ended up moving to was the Hobonichis. Um, so I had seen Hobonichis before but I had only seen their like daily journal. The main Hobonichi is basically like a single day is a single page and that was basically it. So I'm gonna flip open the Hobonichis. If you want to see like a full Hobonichi walkthrough you can look them up on YouTube. They There are lots of planner people who have done these. Um, so I like these because the cousins, which you can see here, split the years into two parts. So there's January through June and July through December. So these are not very thick um, comparatively speaking to like the usual Hobonichis. Also the Hobonichi Techno specifically has not only daily pages but it also has the usual yearly, monthly, my Hobonichi's real beat up as you can tell, and then weekly spreads. So this was exciting because it basically gave me what I was getting in the Passion Planner, but then it also gave me daily pages. Um, let me try to find a daily page where I actually wrote things down. Um, sometimes I would just use some of these daily pages as like plain old notes. So last year I talked about the day de designer as well and I like the day designer because it gives you so much space to do your to-dos which I definitely need. Like I am very much a detailed to-do list person. Coming from bullet journaling and just like in general how I do my to-dos, having a lot of space to put in specific tasks and to break down my tasks really uh, detailed like with like very specific steps and things like that meant a lot to me but as you can see as I'm flipping through these pages like I didn't use them very much and like even with the day designer I talked about this like I would have like days like this where I would only have a couple of things written down and I would feel like I was wasting an entire page also I like write relatively small so I don't need like all this space all the time. And again, 2018 was just like a super weird year um, and I like stopped tracking things. Yeah, so like you can see like some days are more sparse than others. There would be entire days that I didn't put anything down. Yeah, so as you can see, this feels like a planner that's gone to waste. One of the reasons why I think my 2018 felt so chaotic is because I was doing a terrible job of planning things um, and I just felt like everything was all over the place and I couldn't get anything under control. And again, I think it's partially because my like planner system was like out of control and I couldn't figure out something that worked for me. But also in general, I think that I didn't have the time and energy last year to really plan things properly. So who knows if any system was gonna work for me going into 2019 I started trying to figure out what my options were so like I think it was in November or maybe even October I tweeted about it about how I was doing like a deep dive into the planner section of YouTube and just seeing what options were out there and seeing what I could possibly get and then I found the Hobonichi weeklies this is nearly everything that I want 
in a planner. When I was, again, thinking about what I wanted in a planner for this upcoming year, I just kept thinking about how, like, I felt my best when I was doing my bullet journal. I was debating about going back to just doing a regular bullet journal again because I could sort of control what my planner looked like and I felt like that's just what I needed to do. And what I was doing in my bullet journal is on one page I was doing a schedule for the week. Um, so I would make my own like weekly schedule and then on the other page I would do my to-dos. Let me grab my old bullet journal. I still have it here and I will show you really quickly. If you've seen my old bullet journal video you know what I'm talking about but I'll just give you a quick glimpse. All right, so this is my bullet journal from, I think, 2016. And this was basically like the perfect thing. The only reason why I didn't like this is because I hated making this every single week. Please ignore the stains. This is what I do with my planners. They get all sorts of beat up. So I had like a weekly schedule here where I was like putting in things that I had going on in the week, meetings or times when I knew I was going to be working on specific stuff. Um, I made a weekly to-do section and I did like my daily bullet journal type to-dos here. And this was amazing. This was literally my happiest in terms of planning and planners because I felt so on top of things. Even if I had like days like this where I didn't fill in a bunch of stuff, I still felt like I was utilizing this space really, really well. It didn't feel like I was wasting any Thing. I was getting everything done. I was remembering to write stuff down and I had a space for all of the stuff that I wanted to do. So yes, this was sort of the ideal. This is probably the closest thing I found to this in like an already printed form. So let's open this up. So the Hobonichi Weekly is like relatively small. So this is like a like germ. So it's like, you can see it's like this size. This is like really nice to throw in your purse and stuff like that if you are that type of person or your backpack or whatever you have. So this is one that I picked up off of Amazon. I was looking at these things in like September, October and I realized that what I wanted to do was like buy a 2018 planner to test out a system so that way going into 2019 I would sort of know what I was doing. So this is a really nice one because this one starts in March of 2018. So I still have like a number of months left because you can see it goes till March 2019. Also, this design is like adorable. Like this little hedgehog is like the cutest thing in the world to me. Um, so yeah, Hobonichi has a bunch of different like colors and designs. This paper is like really different than the other Hobonichi that I had. Like that paper was like super thin, super absorbent in terms of like pen type. I'll show you like the pen test I did in a second, but like in the Hobonichi Techno, I was using the Stadlers and my Sharpie pens mostly, and the paper there like really soaked up the ink really well. This paper is like, it's impossible to obviously describe it, but it's like smoother and like, it feels like there's almost something on top of the paper, which there might be. If you use any ink that's super inky, like gel pens or like even the Stadlers, things like that, like the ink sits on top of the paper and so it will smear. Um, I did do pen tests in here, which I will show you in a second. So yeah, there's like this yearly outlook. Each of these like tiny rectangles is a day. I don't do anything with this. Some people use this as like a tracker, which is probably a good idea. If you want to track something, you can put like little stickers or stars or like color in the days when you do certain things if that's a thing you're into. Then they have these monthly pages. I don't use monthly pages very often because I use Google Calendar as like a monthly scheduler. But what I have been doing is planning my Vlogmas videos in here. So what I did is I put in all the steps that I need for Vlogmas. So I'll show you the ones down here that are not crossed out yet. So it's record, edit and upload, info and thumb. That stands for like uh, the description, uh, the cards, the end cards, and then the thumbnail, making sure that's done and then cap for captions. So what I did is like I wrote all of that out in pen for every single day of Vlogmas and then I put in pencil above it what video I wanted to do for that day and then I did it in pencil specifically in case I wanted to move any of the videos around or change ideas or anything like that but this has really helped and I need to cross out all of these because I did it, did them already. Yeah so as I would complete steps I would cross them out. With Vlogmas specifically, a lot of times what I do is like sort of batch work. So I'll record a bunch of videos at one time and then I will edit a bunch of videos at one time and then I will, you know, do the descriptions for a bunch of videos or all the back end stuff on YouTube all in one go because that's faster for me, especially with like editing in Final Cut Pro specifically. I like to edit as many videos as possible while I have the program open because my computer's old and so like reopening up the software all the time you know, is kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah, I would do sort of like batch work. And so that's 
why I have it sort of set up like this and it also just helped me make sure that I was like staying on top of things. So use like this monthly view to keep track of the work that I'm doing for Book Riot. So I write down when there are videos going live, when I've done work for them, if there's like a podcast episode that goes up that week I write it down so that way at the end of the month when I have to send them my uh, invoice I have a single place that I go to for all of that information. Really quickly, here is one pen test that I did. Um, so I went to Michael's and I like basically tried a bunch of their pens. This was one of their zebra gel pens. This was a uni ball pen. This was a pilot pen and you can see just sort of like how smeary and smudgy they were. This is the pens that I'm currently using which I will show you in a second. Here are more pen tests. This was me like testing the pens that I already had. So when I ordered my Hobonichi Techno uh, they sent this pen with that package. I think they send a pen with every package that they send out if you're ordering from like the official Hobonichi website. Will it focus? Probably not. It says Hobonichi on there. So this is basically, I looked it up, it's basically a uni ball um, and it's a three color pen and this is actually a pretty good pen um, but I didn't use it with my tech techno because the paper made it feel like more scratchy but this pen actually ends up being really good for paper like this. So I've been using this one a lot and I've also been using this one a lot at work lately because I need all three colors to sort of keep myself organized. This was me doing a little bit of a highlighter test. I have a whole pack of highlighters here and I got these from Target. These I bought when I bought my Plashion Planner so those were the highlighters I was using in there and I do use those these highlighters in here as well and you will see that in a second. So this was me testing different pens with the highlighters to see if they were smudgy or not. And so yeah these are like different pens that I was testing. These are my pilot. I have various pilot pens. G2s that you can get it like anywhere. So that was me like testing out the gel pens a little bit. This is me testing out pens. Prismacolor pen, Micron pens, Pris Prisma, more Prisma pens, another pilot pen, a gel pen just to see like what it would look like. I knew it was going to be terrible. So the pens I ended up going with were the Microns. Um, I have the 005. I think these are point two millimeter pens. Um, I actually really like the old ones the best but as you can see they got a little bit smudgy when you got the colored one but these actually don't smudge at all. They perfectly like sink into the paper enough. Um, you can see like the ghosting is very minimal on the other side. They don't bleed through. I have like a pack of these like colors. I have obviously these colors and then I also have a pack of the black ones and then I also just have like this Pilot pencil mechanical pencil that I use in here as well. So yes, those are my utensils and this was me doing a pen test. So obviously when I got to this planner, I went on YouTube to try to see like how other people were using it and there weren't a lot of people talking about this planner. But there was one that I saw where it was like seven ways you can use your Hobonichi Weekly or something like that. They had like a bunch of different layouts and so I decided to try this first where I was just using it the way it came. Each day I would put at the bottom any events I had going on. I would put in specific like things that were due that day to keep me on task. And then on the side here I was doing my to-dos. Oh I didn't even really talk about the weekly layout. Let me go to a blank page. So the reason why I love this is because it has a weekly like dates on the side but then it has graph paper on the other side which is like my preferred paper. Well actually my preferred is dot paper and these are also light enough that it's not like super harsh graph paper which I hate. Um, I don't like it when you can like see the lines through everything that I'm writing. I just want them to be very faint so they can be a guide to when I'm writing because I will write crooked if I don't have some sort of lines but I don't want the lines to be prominent. That's why I like it. So I knew immediately I was going to use this as like a way to keep track of my schedule every week and then this side was going to be my to-do. So I thought First off, I just use it the way it came, but I didn't really like how wide it, it this is. Like one of the things I realized is that I like really narrow columns. You can tell sort of, if you look at this, like I like these really narrow columns on these pages. Like I basically have everything. Again, I was doing the same thing in my passion planner where I was making everything really narrow. So yes, I knew I needed like narrower lines and columns. And I realized that there are like really faint dots at the top here. I don't know if that's gonna be visible, but it basically like gives you guidelines so you can split this into thirds. So the dots continue down all the way and then you can kind of see the lines ghosting from the other side so it gives you again a guide. So the next week I decided that what I was going to do was rotate my planner. First I thought I was going to try like an hourly thing but then I realized I didn't actually 
like that because it's too small and too tight for that. Oh, this was also me using my Stadler fine liners and you can see like how much you can see on the other side and I hated that. Also like there's some smudginess happening here. So that was when I realized I couldn't use these anymore. Here's what my week looked like um, that first week when I did this and it was great. I put in any appointments that I had and I wrote them all in black but then I would highlight them according to my own personal system. So orange is church, green is book riot, blue is like fun slash friend thing, purple well, here purple was like my personal video stuff, uh, but now I've changed my system so purple is family. And then this like orangey red is work. So yes, that also coordinates to the stuff on top. So I write my to-dos just like in bullet journal form. Green again is book write. Blue is personal. Orange over here is church stuff. This purple is my personal video stuff. This is, this is the dream guys. This is exactly what I want. So like, as you can see, like every week I'm not writing this down like completely because I don't always have a whole bunch of stuff going on but what I've been doing lately is like putting in my normal scheduled stuff and then in pencil I've been putting in the to do's I want to complete that day. This is sort of like my brain dump section. This is me figuring out when I'm going to do those things. This specifically was the week I had off from work so I had like a lot of things I was trying to accomplish and again I don't know if you're gonna be able to read my handwriting because it's like tiny and light but I would put in like recording specific videos, editing specific videos. I didn't have a lot of stuff going on this week. That's a, This is actually this current week that I am recording. Uh, but you can see I forgot to highlight a couple of things, but whatever. I would put in my stuff and it really helps me visualize what I have going on during the week and sort of plan like all the other stuff I want to do. And especially like right now as I'm doing Vlogmas, it makes a huge, huge difference. But even like uh, when I wasn't doing Vlogmas, seeing like, oh, I have small group and I have a Red or Dead call and I'm going to a concert on Thursday night, I better figure out when I'm gonna record my video that I want to put up on Friday. So yes, this is my current planner system. Up top I'm doing just like a basic bullet journal type daily thing. On the bottom I'm doing a more hard schedule tracker thing to help me figure out my individual days and when I'm gonna get all my stuff done. Again, this is needed for me personally because I just have too many things happening. <laughs> at one time, especially in December. I don't imagine that like in the next week or next month, that's what I meant, in January once I'm not doing vlogs anymore that it'll, I'll need to be quite as strict, but it really does help. Next week I'll draw the lines in um, and then I'll like carry over any tasks I haven't finished onto this page and then I'll start like planning out my week. So yes, hope in two weeks. My current love in terms of planners and I plan on buying a new one for the new year when that time comes, but I really, really love this planner. Oh, and the other thing is that there's just like blank paper in the back, which I've been really enjoying. I've definitely been using it to take notes. So if you're feeling like this isn't enough space, there's a bunch of paper back here to do other sorts of lists and things like that. They also have a Hobonichi Mega Weeks, which has like twice as much paper back here. I don't think I need all that paper, so I'm probably gonna stick with the regular weeks, but if you are someone who's interested in this, but you want more note paper in the back. It exists. Look for the Mega Weeks. And then they have the typical Hobonichi related things in Japanese. There's the My 100 so you can list like if you want to track the books you read or movies you've watched. And then a bunch of things in Japanese that I can't read but it seems pretty cool. So yes, this is a very long video as usual. <laughs> Let me know what your planner system has been like if you are still bullet journaling or using something else. If you've tried the Hobonichi, definitely talk with me about it down below. I'm currently a Hobonichi fangirl. So yeah, that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.